Johnny Whitaker was just telling me a story, and I just said, Johnny, you're too young to know that story. <laughs> it's an old radio game. Tell them the pranks that you play on the set. Oh, we have RF mics that are mics that you stick, that they have a battery pack in the back and have a mic here and an antenna that yeah, goes. Yeah, you're self-contained, right, in other uh -huh. words. Yeah. And um, anyway, we'd always tease them by being very quiet. You know, they, we'd, they'd have us on, you know, they'd treat a little button, and we'd be on, and then... We'd be very quiet. We'd tell the whole set to be very quiet. And we'd almost tiptoe in. And when we talked, we'd, you know, we'd... And the men in the booth were going... You know, <laughs> turning every button and pushing every button they could find, you know, because they didn't know what was the matter. <laughs> and the reason I said that's no radio gag is because I don't think there was ever a broadcasting student in the world that didn't pull that gag, thinking that they were the first ones who'd ever done it, you know. But anyway, we're here to talk uh, with Johnny Whitaker about Sigmund and the Sea Monsters, for one thing. And, of course, you people made worldwide headlines when the studio burned down. I guess that's not, <laughs> a, that's not a good way to be remembered, though, is it? Well, that's, that was our first day back in production that that happened. And it was really bad. Did they ever find out what happened, Johnny? Well, I talked to one of the fire chiefs, and he says that he thinks that it started in the roof with faulty wiring. Yeah, but it or actually something. started in the the cave part. Well, did it no, not? no, it not start, the cave. because he said that he does he don't he doesn't think that it could have gone. See, in seventy seconds, the roof had caved in. Wow, where but, were you at the time? Well, I happened to have been across the street. Well, see, there was the stage here, and they had another stage on the other side, and they had the editing rooms. I was having school up in the buildings, up on the second floor. Classes, you mean. Right. Yeah. Uh -huh. With uh, Scott Colden, who plays my brother in the show. Yeah, because people forget you people have to go to school and work. Right. <laughs> uh -huh. And so uh, I heard a large boom. And I looked around, and the, the door, the stage door, just fell. You know, and, oh. then it, and then have you ever seen a, a kiln when it was burning, when you open it, and the fire just comes like this? And that's what it did. It just, just blew out and came up like that. And then in 70 seconds, I heard another crash, and there came the roof. Was it an explosion then? Is, well, or do they don't it know? wasn't an explosion. It, it started, this is what the fire chief told me when I went there. It, it started with what he thinks, faulty wiring up in the roof, and the roof started to uh, cinders coming down from the roof. Uh -huh. And uh, then it got onto the, onto the set, and a lot of the things on the set are flammable. And... Uh, so what have they done now? They've rebuilt the whole thing? Right. We built the whole st set, and we're over in General Service Studios now, where they used to make the old Donald, Donald O'Connor show with Sidney Miller and all oh, that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, then, did they take any precautions so that, you know, the whole thing wouldn't go up in smoke again? Well, this studio, every six feet, there's a fire extinguisher, where in the other one, they couldn't find a fire extinguisher when it started. Oh, my. But uh, anyway, you can see all these... Uh, pipes and all of them carry water so it's a very uh, watertight I guess you could say you know that there's yeah. a lot of water in there and fire retardant in case there is is ever a fire yeah but we don't you know we've already had our fire so we don't have to worry about another one <laughs> I hope but, for your sake I hope for your sake but they sake. did make this the, the um the caves out of uh, plaster this time instead of out of styrofoam uh -huh. but I, I my feeling is that it really didn't start really because of the styrofoam I mean, you know, it was, that was, you know, after a bunch of pressure got after onto the fact, it. Yeah. After, you know, it got on there, then, you know, it, everything burns if it gets a, a certain temperature, even things that are inflammable. Right, right. Johnny, do you get a lot of mail, or do you see the mail that the kids write in on Sigmund and the Sea Monsters? I see a lot of it, and I get really cute letters from little kids, and it's, it's really fun. Well, this year we're going to have a new person, a Rip Taylor. Have you heard of him? No. Well, uh, he's, uh, he's the man who... Uh, Tells the jokes and throws the confetti all over. Oh yes, I do know. Yeah, mm -hmm. just he's been on the Tonight yeah, Show. Yeah, he was on the oh, Tonight Show. Oh, he's fantastic. Show. Yeah, yeah. He, he's funny. Is he going to do that in the he's series? He's going to no. He's going to be called. He's going to be the magical sea genie that Sigmund finds. This is going to be the new episodes for next year uh -huh. or in September. Yeah. And it's going to be really neat, really neat shows where he. Uh, is he kind of a ding dong in person? He is, and he's fun. We we have a we have a little game that we play off the set. Or if we go like that, and you look, we get to hit you. But then when, when but you know, it's not... Well, no. <laughs> well, see, we have a little thing, and if you look at it below your waist, yeah. okay, uh -huh. then we get to hit you once and wipe it oh, off. But you know, you don't oh. hit them hard, it's just I a little yak. Uh -huh. And then... Like, gotcha. Right, uh-huh. <laughs> and so, like, um, 
If I go like that and you go like that, then you get hit me twice. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like we that. used to play a game like that with scissors, wasn't it called? Scissors, one and two and oh, rock oh, and all yeah, that yeah, yeah, that's that's <laughs> yeah. Like that. Only this is, you know, this is a bit, little bit different, but, but you got to, you know, not hurt the person, but, you know, just, you know, just tap them, you know, just like the flinching game where you, where you go at them with a punch or something, not hurting them, you know, they flinch and then you get to hit them. Yeah. It's just a fun little game. <laughs> and so, like, if you go like that, then the person who sticks their finger in the hall can hit you twice. Uh -huh. But if the person is going like that and they say the finger, if he catches it, then he gets to hit you three times. But you have to wipe it off all the times that you hit. You got to be very quick to play this game. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's funny because like, like during uh, rehearsals, we'd always go, hey, look, where was on my shoe? And they look at the shoe and then you got to hit them. <laughs> <laughs> See, I went for it, didn't I? <laughs> Absolutely, I went for it. Johnny, you're just delightful as always to talk with. And I wish you the very best of luck this new season on Sigmund and the Sea Monsters. And uh, God willing, maybe we'll see you here again next year, if not okay. before. Thank you. <laughs>